and I've been undertaking some more tests with the loop and here you can see it pinned out across the garden. It is over the top of some radials but that doesn't seem to make any difference uh, from the original position that I had uh, near the pond which you'll see in a second. And using these canes I can raise the loop up and down a few inches or a few feet uh, and those are tests that I undertook uh, as well. Uh, raising it uh, initially didn't seem to make much difference uh, particularly on 80 meters but uh, uh, once you get above a few inches uh, 40 and top band uh, seem to drop off uh, in terms of receive. I had the loop originally around the garden pond but to allow it to be raised up and down the garden canes for these tests I moved it to the middle of the garden. To follow some on-air recordings they're all 80 meters apart from one which is on 40 and I'll highlight that when it appears. <laughs> found with these further tests with the loop placed on the ground it doesn't work very well on top band of 40 it just reduces everything uh, signals noise the lot whereas on 80 uh, as you've seen in those tests it does uh, make a, a good listening aerial if you uh, want to remove the background noise on signals you can already hear uh, I found that uh, on reasonable strength and strong strength signals it can reduce the noise far better than I can 
uh, with the filters on the rig. So in terms of its value, it does it does uh, prove its worth in terms of reducing noise uh, on the signals you can already hear. Uh, I didn't find any examples where a signal came out of the noise that I couldn't already hear. Uh, so that's something to consider. So next tests will be to increase the size of the loop and see how that uh, changes things. Hope you found this video useful.